Hello everyone, welcome back to SmackDown vs. Raw 2008 24 7 season mode. It's been a little bit since we've been playing this, but I'm back now for this and uh, let's get and see what was going on. A tough brand separation ruling is handed down. Alright, I'll let you guys pause and read if you feel like. Of course, it doesn't take much time, so I'll let you do that. And then there's that little bit below. The only thing I saw in there was something about Finley, and I don't care less about Finley, so we got ourselves a problem. Alright. Your little adventure on SmackDown last week is causing some big waves. I don't know what is going to shake out. But I've been ordered to sit. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. I've been ordered to sit you down this week. No match, no access. Sorry. I hope you didn't step. Oh, fuck you. I want. So I don't even have a match this week. Are you kidding me? This is gonna be one short video. Are you kidding me? You don't give your champion a match. The hell, Brand? Are these fuckers running? I think the people are going to want to see their champion edge. It's not even like I just don't have a match. I have no access, he even said. Are you kidding me now? I, w I would invade this, but there's no point because I'm not feuding with them. I'm fucking pissed. Let's do a trophy date. Oh, this is bullshit. This is fucked up. Time. This is redundant. Oh, fuck. It's going to be redundant because all I'm going to have to do is just simulate over days and days until the next week. So I'm not going to make this video two minutes. Even though it's already at that point, I'm not just going to make it like three or four or five because we have this off. I'll just play this week, I guess. Unless there's like a surprise or something that happens on the show that I don't know about yet because he said I'm not on it. Just simulating and just doing the same stuff is going to get really redundant here soon. Do a fucking submission exercise. Let's simulate it because I don't play those things because then those would get really, really redundant and quick. Alright, we're on this show. There's no, I'm not even going to invade this. There's no point because I bet you something will happen on Monday where there will be like a cutscene or something. So. Oh, I gotta turn my volume up. I can barely hear the music. Alright. I was just doing autograph signing. This doesn't really fatigue me at all, I don't think. I just flan popularity. He doesn't put it up by much, but what's this? Another message, coach? Oh. Alright. But. Listen up. This is your last chance to make the smart decision. No, fuck you. We just sent over the SmackDown contracts. Nope. You sign them and join up with us after SummerSlam. Hell no. You won't make it to the pay per view. You understand? Yeah, Batista, you can fuck yourself because I'm loyal to Bra. I don't want to go to the second-rate show, SmackDown. I want to stay on top as the WWE Champion on Raw. So you can go... You can go jerk off in the bathroom for all I give a crap. Ignore those fools. Or you can go fuck Melina again. I don't care. Ignore those fools. I heard SmackDown sent you some contracts. They just don't know when to quit, do they? No, they don't. You've made the smart decision so far. Yeah. And I'm sure you're not going to screw it up by nope. signing with those losers now. Thanks, champ. So what's my decision here? Remain on Raw, sign with SmackDown. Remain on Raw? Not going to SmackDown. Hell no. There'd be a point in going to SmackDown? No. There wouldn't be a point in going to SmackDown. What's this magazine say? Edge. Yep, Edge turns down SmackDown, stays with Raw. In a monumental decision by Raw's WWE Champion, it was announced today that Edge will remain with the brand despite an offer to join the SmackDown brand. Those chumps over at SmackDown can forget about it, exclaimed Raw GM Coachman. Edge is staying where he belongs right here on Raw. Monday nights will continue to set the benchmark for excitement and intrigue, and we look forward to Edge being in the middle of it all for some time to come. SmackDown GM Long, however, stated, that Edge had made a huge mistake. If he wants to spin, oh, this is gonna be Teddy. Holla, holla, player! He wants to spin the wheel and make that roster. He's a problem now. He'll never know because we gonna put him in a tag team match on Super SmackDown Live Great American Bash Special. He's gonna be in a tag team match. 
That's all I'm going to have to say about that one. Super Smackdown Live, Green to Make a Match Special. I'll be in a tag team match. A really stupid move. Staying on Raw was the biggest and probably last mistake of your life. Okay. I don't care what the board of directors or the general managers have to say about it. You better start. I'm make you pay for that. All right. All right, am I going to face you on Super Smackdown Live in a tag team match? Or is the surprise going to be Undertaker, mate? You're going to be facing The Undertaker. See, I'm not in a match. I am in a match. Are you kidding me? What happened to his message? All right, you guys. I want to make sure I'm right here. I want you all to rewind, or at least some of you to rewind, and go back to that message that the coach sent me and said that I have no access, no match, and that he's sorry. And tell me why the hell I'm in a match now. And please leave it in the comment if that actually happened so I know that I'm not just going crazy here and just thinking it happened. Because I swear to God, he said. I swear to my fucking hell. I swear to shit. I swear to my coffee. I swear to God. I swear to hell. I swear to those fucking pizza rolls over there. That he said that I have no access to Raw, no match. Fuck this. I'm not mad that I have to that I have a match. I'm just confused as hell about that. And DQ's off. I guess I shouldn't complain about DQ being off. I, I like that stipulation being added. Let's go. But this is fucking weird. I have a message saying that I will not have a match. I will not have access. Yet I have access. Is one week from this Sunday. Hi everybody, it's Oklahoma's own Jim Ross. Here yes, I'm not going to watch these pre-scenes. There might be talking over them from Jim Ross and stuff, but I mean, it's the same couple of scenes, which gets very boring and repetitive. There's like four of them. There's one where you're walking through the back and you're friendly. There's one where you're walking to the back and you're angry and both of them people look at you weird no matter what you do. There's one where you're going to the locker room. There's one where you're in like the deepest locker room. Pretty boring shit. But will the champion accept? Wait, what will he accept? He's his championship in a little over a week. I couldn't blame him if he didn't. Didn't accept what? I didn't hear what I wouldn't accept. <clears throat> Look at this fucker. Gotta hate Batista. I know I do. I never really was a Batista fan. I don't know, there was just something about the guy that I did not like at all. Oh, is he going to do his machine gun here? Oh, here it goes. Yeah, I'm taking a shit right here on the stage. Oh, it's coming out big. But this is just shit all over. Anyway, we got to beat his ass in a uh, no disqualification match. Well, you probably use them chairs. Uh, well, maybe the barbed wire thing. It looks like the champion has accepted the oh, What else am I going to do? I'm not going to turn down the challenge. There's no way I can do that. Even if I wanted to, I don't have a choice. Ooh, let's spin the title. I don't know why I like to spin it, but... Who's going to earn your respect? Me? These announcers are so damn ass backwards. In the actual, like, when the game is playing, Jerry Lawler is all about Edge, and in the cutscenes, it's really not. Oh, stop pumping the ground, Edge. What the hell? What the hell? <clears throat> because he don't even hump the ground no more. He never humped the ground. He just, he was humping Charmel when he was humping the ground. So you better be bound down humping Vicky or something, because I was humping Charmel, and she... She won fine piece of ass, that Charmel. <coughs> oh. Oh, that Booker voice is getting to me. <coughs> Holy shit. Probably should get some water or something. But I got coffee, so that's good enough. Oh. Oh, Shad. That man. 
that crime time player, you know, not prime time, but crime time player. He's in my fave too. 552. You know, I got a big fave, you know, like I don't even know what I made of. Like I could be like made of black leather, made of chocolate or something, made of raspberry stew or something. Cause my mama always made a good raspberry stew. Little Jimmy though, all truth there. His his grandma made him spider stew. I would just say nope to that one. Thanks for the Stew with spiders in the mix, I didn't know what to think of that. But then all of a sudden, it was like, I am mad, full big, and I don't like that climbing the heights, and I ain't like spiders, because there better not be a spider. Man, little Jimmy, he's a motherfucker. Well, thank you for your input on little Jimmy and our truth but he's not even in here. Don't you even tell me that damn man in there. Don't look like our truth to you, cause that man look like him to me, man. Right, anyway, let's get back to the actual action of the game. I just had to fuck the ref up. I wasn't even trying to do that. All right, I gotta remember how to play this again. Let's grab a chair. Well, it's no disqualification. If I get DQ'd, I'll be pissed. All right, thank God. Chair shot. Already got a finisher. Yeah, you're fucked already. That executor right there. Let's go up top. We're going to hit him with a big leg drop at an edge. Got to love Booker T putting his mind in here whenever he wants, you know. Oh, what the hell? What the hell? Oh my goodness, that edge. He's an uncareless more hella. He just. Motherfucker. Mother. He don't even care. He just hit that ref like he ain't even knowing his business. Like, that ref don't even know what he's doing now. He's just like. Blacked out and smacked down like smacked down and tacked down and every other down there is in this world. Like, the system of a down and. Down, down, and triple down and. He don't even know where he be right now, that dang ref just got knocked out with that chair so big, like, like, he just dazed on his foot, man, like, he don't even three and four, he like two and, like, twenty, you know what I'm going on about, because I'm like the book of T, man, I ain't no sucker. Oh, my lordy, he just knocked him out with that barbed wire, man, this is just a dang, you know, he Earl Hebner. Even though I'm not sure if that is Earl on there right now, but I'm just going to say that dang Earl Hebner because he's that ref in there who always be in that match just saying, hey man, get off him like I've screwed Brett because I'm Earl Hebner and I don't even know what I'm going to say. I love doing Booker T voice. Oh, he better bust open. Oh my God, that Batista. He's like a bloody mess in that ring because of that man edge, man. Like, I don't even know, like, two and threes and two, and I book a T, like, I don't even know, because, like, triple and two, and I book a T, man, like, I don't even know, like, two. What, is that a, that's a pretty cool edge sign, even though it was more of a DX sign, said the DX tape over the mouth, but that was, oh, that was a pretty cool sign. Most people don't right about that thing, but they're wrestlers, they not well, superstars. But anyway, you gotta keep moving. No dog ever peed on a moving car. <coughs> oh, that's a lovely image, King. I'd ask you where you come up with this stuff. But I had to get my head out of my ass, and poor God, it's been up there so long. That's one of the worst lines in this game, probably. All right, let's get up on the this announcer table. Come on, Book continue. not Booker. Wow. Well. He's obviously <clears throat> not feeling too. Come on, Batista. JR. Then maybe he's not smart uh, enough to realize how dangerous Batista really is. I'm waiting for your ass out here. It's radiating off this superstar. All I see is an Ooh, my sternum. Oh, spear. Come on, I better be able to get him out there quick enough. I don't think I'll be able to get him out there quick enough to get him through. 
Expect well, he dumped me out here, but I don't think I'll be able to get him over the well, announce table quick. Of things, it's not hard to tell how this one's gonna go. What does he think he's doing? Ow, dude? Fuck he's just dude. showing off for the crowd now. He's I got that reversal, but I, yeah, there's no way. And I think it's gonna pay off more I'll just have to work. wait now. Let me get into the ring. Four. I'm coming out again. Come on. Come on, Tista. Oh, come on down. Right. How about a little more wrestling and a little less posture? This is wrestling. Injury, JR. Exactly. Tell him. Three. It doesn't appear that Four. Edge is getting much love from this crowd tonight. I don't and who can care if I'm them? getting love. They should They're be loving me. Much from Edge. That's not true, JR. Yeah, I get sure them plenty of love. Did you not see me stay with Raw uh, Brand after SmackDown cheering. offered me contracts? I call that loyalty, and everyone should respect Edge for that in this game, but. Or maybe if I guess they don't. Edge they're edge heartless edge bastards, is right what they are. The same time he turned on them, right. King. I think they do a pretty good job of yeah. making themselves heard. But yeah. All right, get up, get up, come on. Instead of cheers now. Three. Come on, why can't I do the gut kick? Come here. Damn it! Oh, what a phenomenon Four. is the animal Batista. You get back up up there. Damn it! Nature. Now I'm gonna have to wait again yeah, because right there's no way there. I can. Force of nature. More like freak of Nate. This is a risky move. Ooh, my, ooh, my family jewels after that one have got to be hurt. What an Come on, I'm hitting L. By these phenomenal superstars. There we go. I knew I was going to get the time and right on all of them. All right, Batista, you're going to go for another damn ride. And we're going to keep doing this until you go through. God damn it. Come here, Batista. Can you believe we actually get paid to do this job, JR? It's I'll make it so I can just bring you anywhere and you're going through no matter what, so. Alright, there's that. Come on. Get him up. Damn it, fuck, 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 fuck. Screw him. Oh, you fucking schmuck. You're a schmuck. No! I can't get him to the table, but I'll do it here right now. Better than doing it nowhere, you know. You better be back at one here, Earl. This is raw action at And it's fine. That's why Raw is the number one brand of sports entertainment. Come here, Batista. Why are you so scared of me? Not on SmackDown. Oh, sure. Now Come on, I just want to put him through a table, guys, but now this guy is being seat. Come on, King. He's an ass and won't let me do it. I don't and know why. And that was my knee, Batista. I need that to walk. Do you not understand that I need my knee? Now you're just going to break it like that? You know what? You're not a very That's nice, loving guy, are you? I'm just going to break my knee like that so I can't walk. And then Why the hell does he always reverse that move? I do not understand that either. Thank you. I'm going to give you a big... I'm going to give you ups for that one. Now, if I can get up, I'd give you even more ups. All right, give him that elbow drop. Pick him up. Come on. Oh, we're going to get it. We're going to hit it. We're going to do it. Someone who sets goals for himself and yes! We got him. him, from him. He's a Bam! For young fans. Oh, he's a terrific role model, all right. Let's get him back in the ring. Real humanitarian. A guy who would just as soon sell you out as look at you. Oh, no, I got the ref out. That's just a nasty rumor spread by people who wanted to be in Edge's league but couldn't keep up with him. Come on, King. You've watched Edge as much as I have. And you've seen the thing. I didn't want to do that. No. No. Well, I'm sorry you've decided to sympathize with the losers, JR. Me, I'm sticking with a winner. I'm sticking with Edge. There we go. I want to hit the spear because I know we haven't done a spear in a while. I always just ended up the, uh, education. The educator. Let's pin him now. Let's see if we got this here. One, two, three. Edge is a fucking winner. Holla, holla, play. I'm going to put you in a SmackDown tag team.
you, Jeff. I think you ought to be taken all. Batista, The Undertaker, and King Booker. What the heck? What the hell? Oh no, oh no, 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 please. Oh, I'm getting screwed over. I'm gonna have another, like, fake little injury storyline where I'm gonna cut next week all injured. Oh, or RKO. 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 Oh, I wanted to see the RKO. That would have been a lot better of a spot. You see that? That's how Raw protects their own. I hope that's it for SmackDown's oh, RKO. RKO me. I don't care. I would have liked to see myself get RKO. I just wanted to see him RKO some random guy. That would have been pretty good. Look at Bret Hart. I think this was the last game Bret Hart was in. I'd like to see him be in another game. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. And if you liked it, leave a like. If you want to, subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Uh, answer that question I asked earlier, because I remember... Actually... Yeah, just answer that question about the message if he actually told me that I wouldn't be on Raw. Because I believe that's what he said, and then I was on Raw anyway. Confused the hell out of me. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and we'll see you back here next time on SmackDown 2008.